So my name is Ewan Campbell. I'm the uh, Global Gear Marketing Specialist for Footwear and Helmets for um, Giant Bicycles. And we're going to take a look today at our 2019 off-road footwear range. So starting with our uh, Charge Pro shoe here, we're looking at our uh, XC gravel and cross shoe. Um, the big story for this year, obviously, if you look at our if you look at our uh, banner over here, is motion efficiency system. Okay, and there is what we call MES. And the MES, the idea behind the MES is you have a stiff forefoot and heel with a what we call the exo beam in the middle here to give you a bit of torsional flex, give your foot a bit of natural, more natural foot movement. Um, one update we have for this year uh, that we've changed is in the past our exo beam on our off-road shoe was a single beam. This year we've moved to a dual beam construction, give you more stability when you're unclipped, crossing an obstacle, especially on a cross course or something like that. Uh, obviously replaceable toe sp spikes here, full carbon uh, plate, MES plate, dual BOA here that works in conjunction with what we call the EXO wrap system. So as you're tightening, you can see here the shoe is kind of used with this combining with the slip last construction to draw everything together and pull your foot up rather than press it down. So you're giving yourself more arch support, giving yourself a more comfortable, almost slipper type of feel um, with the exo wrap system and the dual boa there. Two colorways, the uh, our giant blue and then black here. Moving on to the Charge Elite, very similar shoe. The big difference is being single boa, but still with the exo wrap that we mentioned earlier inside, drawing everything closed there, working into conjunction. Um, MES plate here, single uh, dual beam. Okay. As with the Charge Pro, um, so stiff this, forefoot, this, uh, this is torsional really flex here. Uh, Biggest difference between okay. Charge Pro and the uh, Charge Elite would be that the plate here is slightly heavier. It's a carbon fiber glass composite um, rather than full carbon. So a little bit heavier, um, but still excellent, uh, excellent performance there is what we call the <laughs> shuttle flat. So this is our flat pedal shoe. Um, it's our first foray into the flat pedal market, but something we're really excited about. Uh, what we're looking at here is hydrophobic polyurethane upper, very quick drying um, and lightweight. Molded rubber toe guard, which is something that we're not necessarily seeing in some of our competitor shoes, which we're really excited about. Gives lots of protection, very sturdy, robust. And then on the bottom here, the big story is our uh, gripper rubber section here to give you that extra tacky okay. grip on the flat pedal, okay. but with a slightly harder durometer in the heel and the toe, longer lasting, more robust. Um, what you might find in some other shoes is that the sticky rubber might be all across the sole, wears out very quickly, and also leaves uh, can leave marks. We've gone for a, a harder durometer here in the heel and the toe, longer wearing, and also a slightly harder durometer here. Um, just so that we again don't have that problem of leaving marks on the on the floor, uh, but still uh, good tacky rubber there. The idea here is obviously you know we've got uh, DH riding, uh, park riding. Um, dirt jumps, etc. just, you know, your flat pedal. Another big story here, we also have uh, inside here the replaceable footbed. Um, this year we have just the one footbed, but we are working on customizing these. So what you have is rather than put the EV, EVA uh, cushioning in the shoe, we've got it here in the footbed with lots of shock absorption in the heel. And uh, again, we're, we're, we're working on having some customizable footbeds moving forward. Two more, we've got the transmit and the flux. And the flux. Big story here again is of course MES. Again we've got this plate with stiff forefoot, stiff heel with uh, the, the exo beam in the middle that allows that torsional flex for more natural foot movement. Same technology that you find in the Charge Pro but at a much more accessible price for your more everyday rider. A redesigned buckle here which is a little bit more in line to protect against rock strikes, a little bit more robust than what we've seen in previous models, and then the reversed straps here for a bit more adjustability and comfort.
And then finally, the Flux, which is our entry-level trail shoe, which I think looks fantastic for a $100 shoe, quite frankly. Full rubber outsole, again, exo beam, motion efficiency system, same story that we're telling all the way down from the Charge Pro to the entry-level. Great for the rider that's just getting into clipless, or maybe, as you said, uh, you know, the uh, gravel or, or, or even bike packing rider who's going to be on and off the bike. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos as they are released to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.